वेलकम टू पार्ट फोर ऑफ अवर सीरीज ऑन मैनेजिंग ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव अपडेट टूडे आई एम एक्साइटेड टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एन ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव पैचिंग कंप्लाइंस रिपोर्ट यूजिंग पावर शेल आई विल बी शेयरिंग माई न्यू ऑटोमेटेड पावर शेल स्क्रिप्ट विच विल सेव यू अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एफर्ट इन जनरेटिंग दिस रिपोर्ट इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग मी यू नो दैट I previously covered how to create a Windows patching compliance report using PowerShell. If you have been using that script, you will find this one just as convenient. If you have not seen that video yet, I will provide the link in the description section. Let's try that script and save your lot of time. Let me give you an overview of what we are going to achieve once we implement this solution. We will receive a Microsoft 365 Office update report detailing total number of devices in your environment how many have the Office 365 application installed versus those that do not the compliance status of each device against the latest Office 365 updates and if my script is unable to identify which office patch is installed on the machine I will flag those for manual checking so you can verify their compliance status. You will also receive a detailed report in CSV format as shown in the report screenshot. Some devices are marked as compliant with the latest Microsoft 365 updates along with the release date while others non compliant or requiring manual checks. By now you have a clear idea of what we will achieve with this solution now let's discuss the prerequisites to implement this solution the first step is to register an app in the microsoft entra portal and grant the necessary permission and i will walk you through the process step by step second step is to download the powershell script from my github repository and i will include the link in the description section in the third step you need to update the user input variables in the script and finally if you are interested you can create a task scheduler to generate this report on a daily basis or as per your requirement now without further delay let's jump into the implementation part before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more so right now i am on my intune portal and to create an app registration in microsoft entra we have to go to the all services and then we have to go to the microsoft entra and then we have to click on this and in microsoft entra if you scroll down you have an option called applications and there you have to click on the app registration and then you have to click on new registration and then you have to provide the name of your application so i am going to provide office 65 patching compliance report using powershell but you can provide any name as per your choice and i am creating this application using a global administrator account and then we have to click on register and now the application is created now we have to first copy the tenant id in the notepad file let me copy it and then we have to copy the client id which is application client id let me again copy this and save it in the notepad file and then we have to go to the certificate and secrets and click on that and then we have to create a new secret which is under client secret let me click on the new client secret and here you have to provide the description let me provide the description office 65 patching compliance report using powershell and you can configure the expiry let it be 180 days and then click on add and now immediately you have to copy this value let me copy it and then save it in the again the notepad file under the client tab secret now we have created the application we have created the secret now we have to provide the api permission to export the report using powershell so i am going to click on the app registration and then within the app registration you have to click on add permission and then you have to click on the microsoft graph and then here we have two option delegated permissions or application permissions so let me click on the application permission and then here there are a lot of permissions but 
we are interested anything which is related to device so let me type device and then we have to provide the permission i am going to click on device read all permission then device management app read all permission and device management manage device read all permission and there are a lot of permissions like device management rbac and device management services configuration permission that is not relevant for now but if you are creating a generic app registration for all your automation then i suggest you to add all these read all permissions in your application and then click on next and add permission now we can see that we have added the graph api permissions but we have to approve these apis so we have to grant admin access for intune demo lab so again i am repeating i am still using global administrator account to create this permission that is why i am also getting an option called grant admin consent which is not a grayed out option but if you are using some other account or which do not have permission then this option is grayed out and then you have to work with your azure directory admin and they can approve this application so let me click on grant admin consent and click on yes and now we can see that the status of all APIs is also showing in green. So we are good with this step. And now we have completed the first step and successfully registered an application in Microsoft Entra portal. Now the second step is to download the PowerShell script from the GitHub location and update the user input section. And I am also going to provide the script link in the description section. So I have already downloaded the scripts and that is in my download folder so let me open the download folder and then we have to open this script office 365 patch compliance and then click on edit and in this script we have to go down and update the user input section we have to provide the tenant name or id client app id client app secret so let me update this which we already saved in the notepad file this is my tenant name or this is my client app id and this is my client app secret and we also need to update these user inputs like we have to update the working folder where you want to create the reporting and then we have to provide the application name for an example if i am interested to create a patching compliance report for microsoft 365 app for enterprise enus then we have to provide the full name like this and then we have to update the platform like windows or mac os and then we have to update the filter operator here we have two options like or equal to if you are sure that in the machine under the control panel in the arp entry application name is showing as microsoft 365 f for enterprise enus then you can use equal to operator like this and then you can run a script otherwise if you are not sure in many case people are deploying multiple language in that case you are able to see the multiple languages of microsoft 365 for enterprise in the control panel that is why i am using like operator and i want to filter it out with where microsoft 365 app for enterprise install no matter in which language that is installed it is going to calculate the compliance for that machine now with this we are able to update the user input section also and now we have to run this script to create a patch compliance report for office 365 so select all and then click on run and now we can see that it started installing the required module so let me click on yes now we can see that the script executed successfully we have total these number of devices out of which only two devices are showing compliant against the latest microsoft 365 app for enterprise update and these number of devices are not compliant 
and out of which 17 devices are where my script is not able to identify the office 65 app version so we have to check this machine manually and find the compliance status and then these are the machine 119 where the Microsoft 365 app is not installed and the overall compliance is 0.4 percent today is 8th October and Microsoft just released the Office 365 new updates that is why in this environment the compliant machine is showing too and we can also verify in the Microsoft documentation if we go to the update history for Microsoft 365 apps we can see that these are the updates released on 8th October testing is still going on for these updates and we can find the report in this location you can see that the Microsoft 365 patching compliance status folder and we have a report in the CSV format and if we open this report in the Excel we, we can see that we have a CSV report which contains username, user primary name, user email id, last check-in, OS version, ownership type, join type, name of the application installed on the user device in US or in some other language, what is the application version installed on the device, what is the Office 65 application channel name and then this patch is released on which date and this machine is compliant or non-compliant. So if we create a pivot table using this and using the new sheet, just quickly create a pivot table to show you update channel. We can see that these are the channel breakup for entire infrastructure. And if we at the compliance we can find Microsoft Office 365 update compliance status so this way you can create an Office 365 patching compliance status using PowerShell and if you are interested to create an task ruler so that you can get the report on daily basis without triggering yourself you can download the task ruler script and I will provide the link in the description section you have to open the task scheduler as an administrator and then in the task scheduler script you have to update the task scheduler name in my case I have updated office 65 patch compliance report using PowerShell same thing I have updated in the description and the location where you, the script is saved in my case the script is in the download folder and this is the time when I want to run this task scheduler on daily basis and then you have to select all and run the script and now we can see that the task scheduler kit is successfully and if you search for task scheduler and open it you can see that the office 65 patch compliance report using powershell task scheduler created successfully let me first delete the output which we have in the temp folder and i am going to trigger this script let me run this and it's now running wait for some time and then we will see the output in this location now the folder is created the script is started downloading and performing their action and then after some time we can see the report in this location now and now we can see that the we have a csv report created using the task scheduler i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video